Here's oh. a ro roast beef sandwich okay. coming in hot. Food makes me pretty lucky. Food makes me lucky. Oh, what is whoa, this? Whoa. What? What was that bite? <laughs> what in the world? What? <laughs> he like pulled the buns apart and just went straight in on the roast beef. <laughs> I have never seen that maneuver before. <laughs> Justin Saliba cannot believe it. I mean, what in the get universe six, six maroons, oh did we just see? Uh, oh my god, god, I can't even. Four for Helmuth. And you know Helmuth believes that Foxen is just relentlessly trying to attack him. Never gives him credit for a hand. Oh, he's gonna step right into it here if these chips are serious. They look it to me, Jeff. 350? Oh. Timing a little off here for Helmuth. Disaster for Helmuth. He makes it 350,000. He's left himself less than 10 big Seven blinds nine, behind. Uh, but not, yeah, 920 maybe. Thanks. Foxen knows this is either going snap call, snap fold. The second he does decide to just move it in. There's that shove. Or we posture and we act because we're Phil Helmuth. Even though we have a clear fold, we're gonna try and pretend that we're making a big lay down because that's what mm -hmm. Phil Helmuth does. You caught me making a move. That's good to hear. 540. Hmm. Well, this would be horrific. Arguably one of the worst decisions of his poker career. Helmuth, you're not gonna stick it in with queen four off soon, right? How have we not folded yet? Still nine bigs behind. Well, he's really selling it. Perhaps he forgot that we're streaming this. I can see his hand. I, there, I mean, Is he there's genuinely considering? Um, 50. I, I, I hope not, Certainly Jeff, for all that is sacred here. in the world Everybody of poker. Else would call you. No, no one No, else nobody would call here not with a single the queen person, four. Phil. No. Only one Phil Helmuth. Very <laughs> crafty, three bet, a little aggro, Five, over the top, sort of bad timing. But absolutely nobody is putting the rest of the money in. This is a guy that can dodge bullets, but he can't get away from queen four. Walk smack dab into this bullet if he puts chips in. I am, part of, I am just shocked that he is taking this much time with this decision that is not a decision. I don't even see time he's, banks. Is he out of time banks? No, he's got Pay some. jumps 25,000. Oh my God, is he considering putting it in with queen four off? Yeah, I guess I better play to win. Oh my! Oh, oh, oh my, no! He makes the call with the queen four! What am I, what, what is happening? No, no. <laughs> nine. Nine, nine. Well, it's Helmuth all in an at risk with the queen four. Up against the two nines of Alex Foxen. Helmuth did find a way, he'd be at more than 30 bigs. Just feels like he wants to try and dish out a dirty beat to Alex Foxen. That, this is out of spite, I think, Jeff. Queen on the flop. I mean, how, how does he do it? He's gonna, he's, he's being rewarded for this. At the moment. Are we seeing white magic at work? I don't know what we're seeing. I, I Five on the turn. Foxen needs a nine to eliminate Helmuth. You're not going to find this in any uh, strategy books or tutorial videos at home. So Foxen's eyebrows raise, and why not find another queen on the river? It is uh, silent. 
in the studio. Uh, no one has Six. anything to say that would make any sense whatsoever. Imagine if the roles were Seven, reversed. Eight. Imagine if Alex Foxen eight, somehow nine, played that poorly and three bet got it in with queen four against Helmuth and then flopped a queen and then flopped a queen and eliminated oh, Helmuth. Can you imagine it, the reaction? It wouldn't you. be quiet in the studio. <laughs> that was a good needle. <laughs> Helmuth quickly calls on the button with ace jack. And he has, fo he has box and dominated as well. So another dynamic setting up between Helmuth, a collision, and Foxen inevitably. Sopral's a little intimidating with these dark shades, isn't he? And I know he's, he wears them. The lights are brutal on his eyes. They give him headache after headache. Should be illegal, though, Jeff. He looks awfully scary. He's bulked up a little bit, too. Yeah. Got a little stronger. Oh. Oh, Jack 9-5. Top pair for Helmuth with top kicker, but it's top two pair for Alex Foxen. Fireworks yeah. imminent. Buckle up. We're about to have liftoff. Foxen will lead. 105. 105K. Helmuth oh. quickly calls. 535K in the pot. Alex Foxen with a little more than 700K behind. 315. I'm all in. Call. The snap all in, the snap call in. Here we go. Fuck, he can do it, buddy. I mean, what the fuck? Have you trapped for three fucking days? You hit your kicker a million times. Wow. What is it? What the fuck, Jack Nine. Oof. How much you got? Uh, 760. What the fuck? All day yesterday, I had you trapped. Just fucking hit his kicker, hit his kicker, hit his kicker. Come on. I, uh, doesn't seem fair. Still one card to come. It is not an ace. Doesn't seem fucking fair to me. Oh my God in heaven. Fucking guy raised. Come on, every fucking hand and just fucking flop the top two. And I'm so conservative, I wait for the four of diamonds to hit. I sense he might have a nice hand. Queen ton of hearts or some shit. Come on. Fuck's in about to lose it. Hey, I know. Pretty, pretty funny, Alex. Fucking cooler me. Give me your money drawn dead and then cooler me to get it back. Pretty funny. Yeah? Crypto billionaires? The nittiest crypto billionaires you ever All watched. <laughs> Easy. Easy game. Easy. I raise 35,000. All right. See if you got my number. This is my chance. Say, this is your chance. <laughs> Such a good spot. <laughs> I can. You don't have oh, the cover no. no, I don't. Uh, 20? King Jack. Let's see it. Racing? Racing. Mm. No, well, he's, you know, yeah. racing. He's like 60 40. No. Yeah, no, maybe 60 40 40 yeah. yeah. I think he's about 56%. 50 50. Either win or you lose. I think you it's about 58 42. We'll have it. Yeah. <laughs> what gives you, you that idea? 50 50. <laughs> Some would say 56 44. I mean, either we win or we don't, right? It's always. Tell me, it's not at risk. risk. It's binary. It could be 54%. <laughs> you win or you lose. Cannot say the same for David Zhang, the CTO and co-founder. No diamonds. Yeah. Stably. No straight. It's just a stone cold king or jack. I'm 24% percent A4 way. deuce, a good looking flop That's for him. Fine. Zhang, that is. You know is. how you do that? Six times four, baby. Yeah, now right. we'll draw. I remember these things. When to come, I have, all right, I'm going to tell you. Da, 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 da. I have jack. three jacks. I have three kings. He has da, 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 da. 38 outs. 12, 88, right? 88, 12. I would have had two pair. Oh! oh. oh. Wow. A filthy red jack <laughs> on the end spells. <laughs> All right, well played. Well played. The well end of the played. road for oh, David Zhang. Wow. Good it's with a nice well played, played by no the way. Worries. Good game, guys. Oh, good, game. Game. good game, buddy. Good game. First big pocket pair, if we can call it that. Yeah, I think it's qualify, especially heads up. And 
Tom content to check back King four suited, which is a pretty strong hand. Especially on a two club board where he's got a flush draw. The tens nestling between the jack and the nine. Second pair effective and probing for 600. Less leading out from Tom this match thus far. I wonder if that's kind of a, a pre-game decision for him. And instead of the lead, it is a check raise to 2,500. And you'll see here with tens, this is the kind of hand that if Tom were to, Call. in in an alternate universe, limp uh, tens on the button, he, he would probably check a hand like this back. Um, not wanting to bloat the pot, keep in dominated hands, uh, keep in like hair that's folding. Now the queen is a second overcard to the tens, but does provide the open ender. Gut shot straight draw picked up for Duan to add outs. And not to mention that, you know, 9x just got a little bit weaker. 3x just got a little bit weaker. It's tempting call. to continue bluffing here. Phil, of course. Very quick call from Helmuth of the 5200. Mm. Unimproved on the river. That third club shows up and now gives Duan the winner with 16,600 in the middle. This is playing out beautifully for Tom. We know that Phil has a pair here of some kind. It's pretty hard to bet call this flop, call a big bet on this turn without having a pair. So going for a check raise is a risky proposition. You're not going to induce a lot of bluffs. So unsurprising to me, Tom decides to just bet to seek his value. And uh, let's see what Phil makes of this. <laughs> wow. Goes with a small bet, too. 8,700. I mean, not tiny, but, but you know, his hand is, is good enough to bet any size. What can we beat, though? The, the hands that didn't beat the 10s on the flop and were draw heavy include clubs and straight draws, many of which have the 10s beat at this point. Yeah, you, what you're hoping to beat is a hand like 10-5 of hearts, um, which actually helps me with blocks. So I think his hand makes a pretty Fuck bad call. And he, wow. he, he feels the same way. Good lay down. He hit a fucking nine. I trapped him again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're going to win it? I lose it. If I hit an eight, I think I'm going to win. Oh, fuck. Good start. And perhaps me. one final indignation in the cards for Tom Dewan on what has been a brutal affair. The Ish. turn, no help to him, and it is two outs just once for Durr. Otherwise, Helmuth will avenge his round two loss and put the ball squarely back in Durr's court. Oh, Mission yeah. complete. Phil Helmuth. Good match. Back on top, taking down the $400,000 match and perhaps leaving Tom Dwan with a restless evening ahead of him. Yeah. He fights like no other. He truly does. Seaver alluded to that before the match. Scotty also has a lot of fight though. 11,000 here, 9-5 off for Helmuth. 37? He comes with 37 oh, again, but this time, more. this time Brent, he uh, will have a customer. He's three bet, maybe three out of the last 10, 15 hands, 5-7 offsuit, queen four suited, and now 9-5 offsuit. So compelling, naturally, Seaver's in. Absolutely an adjustment that Helmuth has made. Three betting remarkably wide. Yeah. And now we just knuckle it on over. Uh, intent to give up? I'm not so sure about that. Yeah. I think it's a sort of picks up the gut shot here. And let's though. see, Brent, 48 into 74 announced. Oh, it's firm. Great sizing, max pressure. Scott trying to sniff it out. He might feel something here, Brent. Oh man. Oh, how about this from Seaver? This is awesome. No, no, two, two oh. thousand back. Rad's not please. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yeah. 
an edge of your seat sort of situation. Understandably so. Helmuth reaching. It looks like he's going to fire another shell. Flush does come home. 120,000. Oh my oh, gosh, perhaps. Helmuth. If anybody in the world can make this call, it's this guy right here. No, but, just, yeah. Don't worry about it. Just stop. You don't have to say the numbers. It's fine. I mean, the turn call would genuinely indicate that he thought Phil was weak. This isn't exactly his river, diamondless, Seaver. But here we are. This would be an extraordinary call if he makes it, Brent. Giving it this much consideration, the call on the turn, uh, remarkable by Seaver. But that is beautiful by Phil Helmuth. I have, Brent. Absolutely, pal. I have. Well, Check. And, uh-oh. This is absolute dire straits for Scott, Brent. 60. Yeah, Bottom is, two for Helmuth. Top pair for Seaver yeah. at 15 bigs. Here we go. All in. Call. Does go in. Seaver will see the bad news. Three to one underdog to be eliminated from this dual match, Brent. Well, it's been that kind of stretch for Helmuth. Smashes another flap. Top pair not good enough at the moment for Seaver. Here we go. An extra out or two. Receiver eight total now in the deck. One more card to the river. That we have our it. champion. Great match, Scott. Yeah. Wow. Good game. I would tell you, I have more fun playing with you than anybody else. Oh, yeah. You're so, you handle yourself so well. And oh, yeah. He's kind of, as we see Helmuth trying to limp in, the king high mm. suited here. And Mm -hmm. Being raised up by the 6-4. Been a little bit all over the place emotionally. I noticed that. He was just genuinely, you know. He seemed relaxed uh, and laughing. He's a gangster, man. He, he, he's been out-chipped before. He'll fall into genuine pockets of just enjoying himself, you know. I mean, has a lot of respect for Jason. It, it, but, yeah, I noticed that, too. I, it, it almost feels to me as though he's gotten to a place where he has accepted what has transpired and just kind of reframed himself and understands the task at hand, very, which very is... nice so far from Helmuth here. Mighty, of course, and yes, nice indeed, as Kuhn follows through for 30,000 with six high and gets called, and... Helmuth calling you the queen as he goes for check, fair enough. Go on, though, the thought. The I, queen. I was thinking the queen might favor Jason, but nonetheless, again, a player who calls on oh. Jack, Jack, Jack. The four certainly favors Jason, though. Waning a little in the face of this. Although he might not see it, if he likes to fold. Man, Maybe this poor Dexter. Oh, it does just pay it off, and he'll yeah. see the bad, bad news, Holly. Here we are. Brace yourself. This fucking guy gets away with fucking murder against me. I mean, fucking murder. What the fuck? Every time he makes a big raise, I know he's light. He doesn't know I know that. Come on, what the fuck? He cannot win that pot. He fucking needs a six or a four. Come on, what the fuck? How many fucking cards are you gonna give him? He tried to bluff off the money and double me up for no reason, just like I knew he would. Motherfucker. I guess I could have bet the turn. Fucking big raise means he has nothing. Like, I've studied him for a fucking, what the fuck is that? Well. Fucking all that money, I mean, what the fuck? I'm gonna try to bluff Phil fucking Helmuth. I just prefer to make a value bet. That's more fun. Oh, it goes for the regular three bet here with the Ace King. As opposed to just the jam. Only 16 some odd bigs now. It would have vibed Zoomy if he did jam, but I'm not sure Queen 8 was the one as Kuhn asks for a count. Kuhn really has. 
has dealt with this gracefully, although it's does it's not really a, a a tall order to be graceful when you're showered with pot after pot. But oh, oh, look at this! Oh, deciding he wants to spin the wheel with the queen eight, and finally, Helmuth wakes up well, with I the don't sword have a good of hand. Feeling after that last hand, that's a wheel spin with the queen eight. Helmuth doesn't have a good feeling. He's pacing around. It's all in. This is how I went down against one with pocket aces. I'm in a little better shape. This could be over, Ollie. 67% is the ace king, but 32% conversely is the queen I eight. This early. I want to pick off a few more bluffs, see if you can hit a four on me again. 64% of the time, you'll get the chance. Oh, boy. Now it's more like 38. No, more, more, more. Of course, more. You had it right the first time. Board pairs, and now. Phil Helmuth needs a jack, a king, or an ace to stay alive here in round five of High Stakes Duel 3. It's over. Not there. You were smart to take a shot with Queen Eight. Thank you. Because I was going to get it in. Good game, man. Great match, Jason. Yeah. Wow, that was sick. And just like that, in convincing fashion, Jason Kuhn steps into the High Stakes Duel Not arena format, and probably. wins his first match 1.6 million dollars and he'll have to pony it up to square off in a 3.2 million dollar match from this point forward so almost checked but then i was we're at this table because of me phil what are you talking about this beat your table I tell you what, I get the feeling that Eric Person thinks that Phil has an Achilles heel and it's his ego. Oh, fuck. He's yeah. going in on it. Okay, the queen on the river. Mm. On the river, seven. Drills three fives, drawing to a five. <laughs> That's what I love about Phil. He remembers half the hands. <laughs> oh, you, you're, you're, I had ace five suited. I called it raise. Are you, are you, uh... You have some issues with, with uh, the truth, don't you? <laughs> I have no issues with the truth. Truth is, I'm going to whoop you. <laughs> All right, my patience is out. I'm going to have to take you out quickly now. I doubt it. You've, you've, oh, you straightened you've, up, you straight up your chair? You've talked. Oh, no. Well, if we were playing heads up somewhere else, I could have my headphones on and just ignore all the, the bull <laughs> But now I have to engage and just bust you quickly. You don't, you're not smart enough to fold, so. Oh, no. Phil's going to bring his C game. Okay, I think you need you need to be obnoxious to win, mm. maybe. Maybe you don't have the skills, but <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna win, Phil. We're gonna fast forward to the end. I'm gonna beat you. I'm not sure what you're gonna say. You have no chance. You... The three he's correctly figured out doesn't rate to win very often. Check. Person check. checking back the four or five after fanning on the flop. Helmy's just flat at the ace jack and now the delayed C bet from person after he picks up the bad side of the gut Check. shot. Fours. Hits the fours on the river and wait for it. This is where Phil is going to start getting frustrated because he is just like <laughs> losing to. <laughs> Good check, Phil. Good check. <laughs> check your way to victory. Jesus Christ. You're running out of chips, Phil. You're going to have to take a stand pretty soon. How many cards is he going to You're running out of chips. But I do actually kind of like how unrelenting this guy is. Because it might get the fill. You call that justice? Justice. All those cards you hit on the river, that's justice? Justice. Or someone who's playing badly but getting Call lucky. it justice. Tell me it's going to be all too happy to play windshield instead of bug. Check. 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 Jack 10 5 flop. Favoring person who's got middle pair. The gutty doesn't come in for Helmuth doesn't. after they both check like to see Phil fold this. I don't like peeling here with nine high and just a, a gutter. 000, oh, wow. 000. Okay. This is an interesting play. Instead of peeling. So this is what I said. He's ratcheting up his aggression. This is better than calling, in my opinion, but it uh, looks like it's not going to work. I don't see a re-raise making much sense here. I mean, he's, he's only catching bluffs, but it's only beating mm -hmm. bluffs. A little raise. <laughs> I mean, it'll get the job done because Phil has nothing, more. but... You said your bitch, Phil. You said your bitch. Show your hand if you're going to say stupid stuff. <laughs> yeah, that may be. Of course it did. 
raise you there. You're so stupid. You think you think your little 10 20 40 game with the Bellagio means something. I don't play 10 20 40, Phil. Whatever you play, is, you're so ridiculous. Oh, did Corey okay, go Okay, come after to him? Papa. Corey's admin. Just got I'm under just raise you now with oh, yeah. nuts in a minute, and you're just going to move in with second pair again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 75,000 more, Phil. Phil. Nick. 75,000 more. Nick, Nick, Nick. 16,000. 42,000. 42,000. Oh, the dirty diaper. Phil is putting in an aggressively large amount of his chips here with nothing. This is absurd. <laughs> this is completely absurd. I mean, this may be case in point that the wheels are off for I Helmut mean, here. He wants to roll this one over. He does. Oh, oh I'm so shocked that he didn't. I thought he really wanted to stick this one. Let's bust you one hand at a time. One hand at a time. You know, you think it's so funny, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it is, this is a humorous match, though. Oh, my God. Now he has aces. I need to. <laughs> I call. Oh, my God. Let's go. Oh, nice hand. How many? I mean, I have five, four well, big blinds. King three I have a king. Aces. He has aces. Jamsy. He has two suits. Actually, he only has one suit, but. I'll tell you right now, I won't play another event. Uh, heads up championship if this man's in the field, so I'm just going to tell you guys. Or I need better protection, and I'll, I know we'll talk about it, but. Well, here is the moment. And Phil Helmuth is about as big a dog as you can be pre flop and hold him. 89 to 11%. Well, you got to me, buddy. Congratulations. I just got in with the best, didn't I? Yeah, your strategy worked. I'm going to be an asshole to Phil. Queen, seven, deuce, rainbow, and now help me. It's just 2%. Needs two runners. It's not going to be any love lost between these guys. It's over. Eric Person. 